What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel. So, another work week down, another tool haul to show you guys. Uh, kind of light this week. I had uh, I had gotten a few things off Snap-on that I had on order, socket trays, you know, nothing really uh, too big. Just kind of at that point where got to pay the bill down a little bit before I get anything. But the uh, Tim, the Cornwell guy, came on through. I had circled some stuff in uh, June's, June's flyer some stuff he had to get he had a few things to go to he had the gear wrench convention to go to um, he just bought a new truck I've been trying to get him to have us do a tour of his truck he just kind of wants to get it set up and all that so stay tuned for that guys I'll be getting on his truck he's uh, definitely not camera shy and my Cornwall rep is uh, definitely a cool guy but uh, let me get wrapped up out here we'll head out in the shop show you guys what I got check it out shut up and sit down All right, guys, so out in the shop, had to cut off all the fans, so no background noise for you guys, but uh, just want to run through these things. Uh, got a quick gear wrench set here I got for a killer deal I want to show you guys, and then most of the other stuff, you know, my Lyle pickups. You guys know I, 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 I stock up on the Lyles. Lyles makes great product. A couple things uh, are upgrades, other things uh, couldn't pass up the deal. So, but the first one I got is the, uh, the 122 ratchets from gear wrench it's got the long three eighths and the long quarter in this set and the deal he gave me on this was i think you buy this and you get the half inch long for free i think 179 or something like that you guys know i'm not the greatest when it comes to prices i'll leave part numbers down in the description amazon links all so you can pick this up but definitely pick this up on a deal i'm not sure if you'll be able to find that deal but the tooth design on this i mean is definitely you know there's like a barely a throw on that I think it says three degree throw on it but I mean even to get it click to click you know it barely has to move so those real tight spots you know you need the leverage and all that half inch seems decent um, I don't own a gear wrench half inch but we'll see what it is part number on this one is 81 364 and like I said I'll try to find links put them down in the description for you guys definitely built well I mean the handle looks just like a snap-on definitely got decent length and I mean the head design on this you know the gear inside there is uh, definitely awesome 120 teeth I mean how much higher are you gonna go there you know and then the same with these we crack this bad boy open but part number on this 81271 and that's that I mean you've seen you've seen one gear wrench you've seen them all I do have the 3 8 a couple 3 8 gear wrenches um, and a quarter I think I have a quarter inch drive gear wrench but this is the long handle so got the complete set couldn't pass up that deal this was not in the last month's flyer, but he had it on the truck from the gear wrench convention, so I had to grab it off of him. And then the next one I got, um, I've been picking up new pry tools, you know, the non-marring plastic pry tool set for dash work and those Christmas tree connectors and all that, you know, doing these oil chains with the skid plate under it. They have those push connectors in there, those body clips in there that are a pain to get. But this one I noticed had a few different pry tools in it. It's a Lyle set, part number 68740. Seems like a decent set. I believe it comes with a little pouch to store them all in. And it's, uh, you know, got everything together all in one 27 piece. It's got the Velcro on there. You keep them all neat and organized. And these things are definitely on the thicker side. I've seen, you know, when I see the orange, I've seen some, you know, cheaper orange where it's flimsy plastic, but these are definitely, you know, pretty stout. You know, you gotta have a little bit of play in them so you don't gouge into the dash if you're pressing up on a dash, but a lot of nice cool pieces in it. A couple of the new ones that I haven't seen in sets before, ones like this where you could kind of pull, you know, it's like a pry and then you could pull on it. There's two of those in here. There's a little V-shaped one. And then uh, they got ones like this. I don't know if you guys are picking that up on camera. It's kind of in that groove, you know, decent pry tool for maybe the corners and all that stuff. You know, some of these I really don't know uh, what the application will be for, but, you know, it's definitely nice to have even little tiny intricate ones, precision pry tools, you know, trying to get into that corner or tight area. So definitely a nice set, and they're all pretty much built, you know, have the same handles, just with different heads. They're numbered, so we got 
27 on the back and then 26 so I guess if you break them separately you could just give each individual number if you got to have them warranted or switched out or if you lose one but definitely a cool set 27 piece had to pick this up through Lyle I'll leave a link down in the description definitely like the pouch I'll definitely keep them in there and then just roll it up toss it in one of the drawers if I need it just carry it over to the car and pull any one I need out nice little kit handy kit to have so the next one I got was a replacement that I actually got up and walked out of the shop can't find it anymore but uh, you know for the oil filters for those you know Ram Cummings to kind of get the filter out in those tight areas so you don't spill all oil everywhere and all of yourself hot oil all of your hands you kind of use this to seal it off so you can pull, pull the filter out I also use these you know for priming the filter obviously putting the new filter in you could dump a little bit of fresh oil in there cap it off stick it in there and then pull it off before you screw it onto the car definitely a cool set this one's plastic I want to say the last one I had was metal but you know Lyle's good stuff I don't know if it's that Delrin plastic or what it is but it's definitely durable plastic so pretty typical stuff and then the next one I got uh, another replacement through Lyle this one I believe got damaged I had this uh, I haven't had one of these probably in eight months, but you got your listening device, so you can listen for noises, and then you can talk to people real loud, like, hey, Steve, get to work. But, uh, <laughs> but no, it's a cool little angled funnel to where you could get into, you know, when you got those master cylinders to fill those masters when they're underneath the cowl on those dodges, or, you know, the power steering pumps that are kind of in the back with things in the way. Got a decent little bed on it. They're offset. You know, nice little funnel thing that Lyle makes. Like I said, I've had one, I Lyle one of these. I'm not even 100% if I lost it in the toolbox, but I want to say it got damaged. I think someone ran it over or something like that. But, you know, tools walk out the shop, you lose them, you misplace them. Uh, the part number on this one is 17232. You guys looking into that one, I'll leave an Amazon link down in the descriptions. But, you know, it's dual poker's tool. You can get in under those cows to fill up your master cylinders, and, or if you're hard of hearing like me, you can kind of listen and uh, talk louder if you want to. What's up, guys? Welcome to another tool haul. <laughs> so we got that one and then the last Lyle I got uh, 39190 the GM quick disconnect I have a plastic one but they now make it in aluminum or billet I don't know if this is billet or aluminum uh, but it's for those GM heater core hoses that are on the back firewall or some of those older GM's where the uh, you know the bypass coolant goes into the lower radiator the quick disconnect for those so a nice little tool and it's hinged and all that stuff. You get in there to quick disconnect it and all that stuff. So great little tool to have. Great Lyle products. You know, these things, everybody needs them. You know, if you're working on them and, and, and you need the tool, it makes your job easier. You guys know that's what I'm all about. That's why I share this information, show you guys these part numbers. Some of you guys may know these tools are out there. Some of you guys may not. Sometimes I don't know they're out there until I see them and pick them up and put them on a tool haul. So part number on that one. And this next one. I was looking at on the Cornwell truck. I wanted to pick up a few weeks back, but I wanted to wait, you know, pay my tool bill down, you know, kind of get everything in moderation. Um, CAT1218 is the part number, and it's pretty much a handheld, you know, mini belt sander. Plenty of uses for this one. I'm sure you guys can think in your head, you know, things you could use this thing for. It's pneumatic. Can't wait to try it out. 18 inch, half inch belt sander. Um, you know, seems pretty decent, but. Uh, I picked this thing up for those, you know, those brake anchors. Getting in there, you get, I got bad rust in this area, but getting down in there, cleaning out those, those anchors so you can fit the pads in there, you know, instead of using, you know, the whiz wheel, the grinder, a, a wire brush. But I think this is, you know, pretty much just long enough to fit down in there, um, you know, on those real rough ones. And obviously you could use this thing for, you know, dual purpose, anything you need to use it for, cutting down a fastener or, you know, trimming off this cutting down that whatever it is but you know that was my main purpose in buying it you know it's got a nice little belt tensioner on it it comes with a few replacement belts in the kit I gotta get a fitting on the back of it you know maybe we'll revisit this one see how it works out but you could definitely you know angle it where you need it you know kinda make it a right angle make it straight you know get down in there get down into those crevices on those uh, you know brake anchors or what have you you know if you're having trouble there's a burr or something like that and you can't get to it stick this down in there um, you know, definitely pretty cool. Definitely cheap enough to get. You know, I got this for a pretty decent price. I think it was like 190, maybe 200 bucks. Can't remember, but pick that one up. See how see how it works out. Maybe we'll revisit this one. See how it holds up. So, uh, haven't been haven't bought a Cornwell pneumatic tool in a long, long time. Most of my you open my box, most of it's red. 
So I put some blue in there. I hope those tools get along. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Starting to sweat now, get these fans turned back on so I can pull these next couple cars in, wrap up the day. But uh, like I said, I'll try to leave part numbers, links down in the description to these Lyle tools I picked up. Seems like a great couple of tools. Find a spot, find a home for them in the toolbox. Can't wait to get them to use. Maybe we'll uh, we'll see how this uh, Cornwell belt sander tool works out. We'll revisit it. And maybe I'll give you guys my review on it and all that stuff. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. Signing out.